Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the main event. We're your host, Dave and Sue from Candles Off Main, and today we are going to talk about diffusers. We're going to talk about what they are, how to use them, why we use them, and tips so that by the end of this video, you'll be a diffuser expert. And Sue will start with the what. Diffusers are a great way to provide constant fragrance in your home so that it always smells great in certain areas. For example, in a foyer so that when you walk home it smells great or when guests arrive it smells great if you haven't had time to set up candles yet. Everybody's greeted with this great fragrance when they come in your door. They're also really helpful in places like bathrooms or powder rooms where you always want it to smell nice but you can't keep an eye on a candle and in kitchens. Anywhere that you always want that nice kind of fresh scent but you're not always you know, ready to light a candle or keep an eye on it. So, great product for layering with candles. It can be used in conjunction with candles or other fragrance items in your home, such as room sprays or Lambergee lamps, or they can be used on their own. And now I'm going to talk about the setup of a diffuser. They come in two different ways. One with a liquid already in it, like this, where you would just unwrap this. There should be a stopper in there. And then you would just put your reeds in. You always want to be careful when you put your reeds in, especially when it's already filled. Uh, sometimes they fill it pretty high and as you're putting the reeds in the liquid will come over the top you always want to have something underneath and basically don't put it on a nice don't start it on a nice wood surface because it will stain and then the other is in a separate bottle um, you can pour a little you can pour the whole thing if you want to but sometimes it's better just to pour a little so that when it does evaporate you can keep it fresh by adding more and more um, again same type of deal with the the reeds some it'll fill it up too high when you put the reeds in and it'll overflow so always be careful of that and here's some tips for you to for how to make the most out of your diffuser first you want to put it in a high traffic area in your room so either a place where people walk by frequently like a table or put it near the entrance to the room like on a, a side table as you walk in the door that way you're going to pick up the fragrance as you go by think of a diffuser as a bouquet of flowers where you're going to notice that scent as you cross its path they're not going to necessarily fill the entire room with fragrance sometimes that's an ambitious expectation of a diffuser some diffusers will do that but it depends on the brand the size and in your space and the fragrance that you choose Ideally, you want to put it in a place where you're going to travel by it, where there's some movement in the room, some you know, air circulation. You don't want to stick it in the corner where it'll just be stagnant. Another idea that you can do to fresh to height the scent if you're not getting enough fragrance out of it is to flip the reeds in the diffuser. And you can flip just a few reeds every few days or all the reeds as often as you want to. Um, all you have to do is pull them out, flip them over, and stick them back in. The fragrance, the reeds get saturated when they're sitting down there in the oil, so when you flip them over, you then, you then get that fragrance that will evaporate into the air so you can smell it. So that's a great way if you've got company coming over um, to freshen up the space before they arrive, or just if you need more fragrance out of the scent, you can do that. When you are flipping the reeds, you do want to use caution. There is oil on them, so when you flip them over, um, sometimes the oil can drip down the side. So you want to do it in a space where uh, you know, you might want to do it over sinks so that if it drips down onto the floor, it's not ruining your carpet or your hardwood. Um, and you also want to make sure that the vessel is dry before you place it down, place it back down, or you could damage the, the surface. Or put it on a plate. Sometimes I put mine on a coaster so that it doesn't damage the surface. So be, use caution when you do flip the reeds. Another thing I like to do is before we go away on vacation, I like to flip all the reeds on all my diffusers throughout the house so that when you arrive back home, you're, you're greeted by a fragrant space rather than a still stuffy house. I find that a really nice thing when we return home. When selecting a diffuser, keep in mind that size does matter. It's just like a candle. The smaller the size, the smaller the space. The larger the size, the greater the space and the greater amount of fragrance they'll provide. So a small diffuser like this one by Vilespa will work really well in a powder room or a very small bedroom. A larger one like this would, by Lafco would work really well in a larger space or if you need more fragrance. And that's it for us today. If you like this video, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also to share it with your friends. Um, you can find more about diffusers on our blog, sensenob.com. And don't forget to come see the light at candlesoffmain.com. Thank you.